Hello, friends. Did you know the United States boasts over 63,000 pig farms, both large and small? Each farm varies based on the number of pigs it raises. Today, let's visit some of these large pig farms across the United States to see how pigs are raised before being sent to meat processing plants. Statistics In 2023, an impressive 72.9 million pigs were raised, marking a 2% increase from the previous year. Many of these pig farms are concentrated in states like Iowa, Minnesota, and North Carolina. Breeding For years, China has led the world with the highest pig population, boasting 449 million pigs. Music, the European Union follows with 142 million pigs, and the United States ranks third globally. The most common pig breeds in the US include Yorkshire, Duroc, Chester White, and Berkshire. The Yorkshire breed is the most frequently recorded in North America, especially in Illinois and Indiana. Currently, Iowa leads the nation with the largest number of pigs, about 23.4 million distributed across 5,400 farms. Minnesota comes in second with 8.9 million pigs. This is the process of inseminating pigs on a farm in Iowa. Each insemination takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Every year, around 115 million piglets are born in the United States, with about 1.5% not surviving shortly after birth. Reducing piglet mortality is a top priority for all swine farms in the United States. Piglets are fed exclusively on breast milk for several months before transitioning to other foods. They also receive regular vaccinations to strengthen their immune systems. At three months old, piglets are separated from their mothers and given more nutrient-rich food. When they reach a weight of 40 to 50 pounds, farmers accelerate the fattening process to prepare them for the market. Applause, by six to eight months old, pigs are ready to be taken to processing factories. Female pigs weighing 250 pounds can give birth up to twice a year, with each litter comprising up to 15 piglets. Some farms find it more profitable to sell breeds to other pig farms, maintaining capital and generating revenue. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, each year, 97 million tons of corn and 38 million tons of soybeans are used to feed about 72.6 million pigs. Pig farming is most concentrated in grain-producing states, although this practice is gradually declining. In 2020, North Carolina and Oklahoma were among the top meat-producing states but not major feed-producing regions, leading to a decrease in animals raised on organic food. Almost all farms now switch to feeding nutritious grains. To manage and care for pigs efficiently, farmers use spacious barns and 24-7 monitoring systems to ensure the pig's safety and detect any signs of illness early. Each containment room ranges from 8 to 16 feet, depending on the breed and size, ensuring adequate space. Farmers add dry straw weekly to reduce moisture from manure and urine, keeping pigs dry and warm in cold weather. Waste water Wastewater from pig farms, like one with over 4,000 pigs in eastern Nebraska, is treated using modern systems. The treated wastewater is used to irrigate corn and soybeans or stored in septic tanks to generate gas. Free-range pig farming models are rare in the United States. However, pigs raised in open fields are highly sought after for their superior meat quality compared to those raised in closed farms. The United States has approximately 28,075 slaughterhouses, averaging 1,100 pigs slaughtered per hour nationwide. Upon arrival at the processing plant, pigs are anesthetized with carbon dioxide before proceeding to the next stages. A pork processing plant is typically divided into three areas, slaughtering, cutting, and packaging. After packaging, pork parts are transported directly to stores and supermarkets, ensuring the freshest cuts of meat for consumers. According to 2022 statistics, pork production in the United States reached 27.3 million pounds, contributing up to 57 billion US dollars to the country's GDP. A world where chickens roam freely, living in harmony with nature, may seem like a utopian fantasy, but it's a reality in parts of China. In Yangshan, Guangdong province's mountainous regions, a unique method of raising chickens has been in operation for many years. Among the various free-range breeds thriving in Yangshan, the Yangshan chicken is renowned as one of W. Dong's eight finest breeds. 
Young Shun chickens are muscular and easily distinguishable by their distinctive plumage featuring a blend of three shades of yellow. Thanks to their organic corn diet, they reach maturity after four to five months of roaming the hills and usually weigh around 2.5 to 3 kilograms. Apart from yun chickens, other chicken breeds capable of living at altitudes from 800 to 1500 meters above sea level are also raised in these high hills and mountains. The stark contrast between free-range and caged chicken farming lies in the birds' living conditions. Free-range chickens spend their lives roaming open hills, basking in the sun, and foraging for food, a natural existence that promotes their physical and mental well-being. However, they don't produce many eggs, usually only around 100 to 120 eggs a year, and they are also smaller in size, weighing around 40 to 45 grams each. But all of their eggs are tastier and have a higher level of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. The more active chickens also produce more flavorful and firmer meat that turns bright yellow when cooked. The journey of mountain chicken farming begins with high-quality eggs from a reputable hatchery or breeding farm. The ideal temperature for incubation is around 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity levels ranging from 55 to 70 percent. It takes around 21 days for the chicks to hatch. In large-scale hatching operations, such as this one in Mingui County, Heilong Province, China, up to 400,000 chicks are hatched yearly. The demand has truly increased because this place used to only hatch 70,000 chicks just five years ago. Once hatched, the chickens are typically transferred to brooding pens normally located in a windproof and well-ventilated sheltered area. Before welcoming the newborn chicks, farmers line the pens with 7 to 10 centimeters of disinfected chaff or straw to provide insulation and warmth. The pen measures around 3 square meters and will fit 100 chicks. During the first 2 to 3 weeks, chicks are unable to regulate their body temperature effectively, so continuous lighting will keep them warm enough to eat and drink. Farmers offer them clean lukewarm water mixed with chick electrolyte supplements and 6 to 8 small meals per day. The chicks are still very weak, so farmers keep everything clean, wash their troughs twice a day, and also give them medicine as prescribed by veterinarians. As chicks grow, organic food sources such as greens and forage are also provided to get them used to the food on the mountain. On a favorable day, the chickens are released onto the hills early in the morning where they spend almost all their day. Farmers follow and live stream them to build an online customer base to increase sales. The hills where the chickens roam are dotted with trees, providing ample shade and opportunities for the birds to perch, play, and even catch insects.